everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and today we are finally revealing the last person we haven't revealed yet, and that is the piglet. That's right. We're gonna go through the clues, the pitch correct audio, we're gonna compare audio, we're gonna pretty much answer all of the clues before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So yes, this is the last person we haven't done yet. I mean, so far we revealed everyone else. And you can go ahead and go through the description of this video and check out the other reveal videos and see if your guesses are correct. If you're new to this YouTube channel, hi, how are you? My name is Joey Contino. I'm an executive audio producer here in New York City where it's my job to make audio sound good. And when the audio sounds bad, it's my job to make it sound good, yeah. So pretty much when it comes to The mask Singer, you know every single week we get these brand new clue packages. And in those clue packages are the celebrities speaking, but Fox is smart. They're like, uh, hey guys, guess what? We can't let them hear the real celebrity voice because if we do, people are going to recognize it. And then there is absolutely no fun. So what do they do? They take that audio, they speed it up, they pitch it up. That way you have, you have no idea who it is. And so doing what I do, I figured I could slow it down. Pitch correct it, that way we can hear the real celebrity voice. Now that plus the clues, we've got every single person right, except for one from episode one of season one of The Masked Singer. So uh, go ahead, join me as we dive through these clues, go through the audio, and let's go ahead and see if your guess matches up with mine. Now, I do have to give you a warning, because <laughs> I know already about like two minutes into this video already, this is going to be a long video. The reason why is because, I mean, we're now going into episode, what, 10? Which means we have at least six or seven episodes of clues to get through. I'm gonna list all the clues. I'll answer the ones that are like most important that definitely stand out. And then of course, if there's something I missed, you let me know in the comment section. So let's get started with episode two. I mean, like literally this is our, uh, our script for today. I need like a teleprompter or something. There's a lot to get through, but let's start off with episode number two. And I also cut out a lot of like the filler stuff. Like I'm talking about the night's performance because it seems like it's added stuff you don't need. I've always been lucky in love, I admit, but I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic. Yeah, I'm guilty of dropping the L word on the second date, sure. I've given a few roses away and the world saw my heartbreak. I learned that some flowers have very sharp thorns. Visual clues, alarm clock, question mark, Rose and Rose Petals, and an axe tattoo. Next was from episode four. I always had the chops, but with my competitive nature to make me a hometown hero. When I got to the big leagues, I never anticipated a lifetime of competition with my arch rivals, but that only made me train harder because I could never throw in the towel. There was a lot of football things there. We saw football locker, locker room. We saw 35, 28 rushing slash yards, things like that. We saw a knight in shining armor and then a horse slash Mustang mascot, or Mustang mascot, yeah. Uh, the childhood crush was Meg Ryan to someone around that age. Next was episode five. You know, years ago, I was getting grilled. It was a very difficult time, but then squeak. Someone unexpected appeared and turned my life around. She rescued me from the heat and gave me a brand new start. And because of her, now I'm a family man. So now he's got kids. So he didn't have kids with his first wife, which has brought a whole new life, a new purpose to my life. I finally found someone I wanted to grow old with together, which may be the best gift of all. And I have to agree, it's true. Julie and I married, I think, six years or something this year. Visual clues, grilling rack. We saw Lay's like you get in Hawaii. We saw a genie bottle, corn of the cob, palm trees, and then that week it was a meaningful object clue. And for him, he talked about his dog tags, and we saw two dog tags and the letter P. Next after that was episode seven. I know there's a lot to go through. My life hasn't always been smooth sailing. Not many moons ago or years ago, I was lost. I'd given up on my dreams and moved back home with my parents and even broke my finger. It was the perfect storm of despair, but then suddenly on church on Sunday, the pastor who didn't know me from Adam spoke of a vision of a man with a broken finger and I knew it was me. He saw this man sailing towards a terrible storm, doomed into a higher power, turned the winds around, steering the boat to safety. I was totally freaked out. This is like a direct sign from God. So I packed up my stuff, changed course, and moved to LA. 
to go after the life I always wanted. I know there's a lot in here. Visual clues, a pirate ship, a peace sign, which was red, sunglasses, a tree cart fragrance, and a UFO. The food delivery clue was cotton candy. And the last episode we saw him in, which was the last week's, which is episode nine, Back in my fraternity days, my bros and I decided to shave our heads for unity right before a party. That's where I found that I had a huge birthmark on my head in the shape of an apple. Then I ran into a sorority girl of my dreams and she says, you really need hair. But look, it all worked out. I found my real dream girl, which means real. So that means the first one you saw wasn't the one you wound up actually being with forever, uh, who loved me and my apple head. Visual clues, vampire teeth, the birthmark, four on the floor, gold bars, and then there was a mind reader clue by the clue do and he says that this person has caught touchdowns from Dan Marino. Woo! In six minutes times, Nala, we went through all of those clues. We're gonna answer them in a second. First, let's go ahead and break down the audio. I'm gonna play a little bit of the audio that Fox gave us, and then I'll play our audio for you. Here you go. All right, this may seem super random, but I've got a pretty embarrassing story I've tried to keep. All right, this may seem super random, but I've got a pretty embarrassing story I've tried to keep hidden. Back in my fraternity days, my bros and I decided to shave our heads in unity right before the party of the year. So comment below who you think it might be. It is a boy band member. It's someone you would say is definitely hot. I mean, physically and, and, and I mean, their name also meant something hot. Who's your guess? Is it Nick Lachey? Because if you thought that, then guess what? You're right. It's definitely Nick Lachey. We will go ahead and answer most of the clues, but first, let's go ahead and compare first him speaking to a pitch correct audio to confirm that yes, that sounds like him. And then the singing voice will compare him, the piglet, singing to Nick Lachey singing. Here you go. All right, this may seem super random, but I've got a pretty embarrassing story I've tried to keep hidden. Tried to warm to it, I guess. And, and um, my wife's a much better, she's much better at that than I am. And You're the only one who really knew me. In the review sounds like him, right? It sounds just like Nick Lachey. And Nick, if you're watching this video, come on, come be a guest on here. We'd love to have you on and ask you some questions. You know, to be honest with you, I still can't get over the whole chicken of the sea thing from the show with Jessica Simpson. I mean, that has always been stuck in my head and is still hilarious to this day. Anyway, let's go ahead and start answering some of these clues. Starting off with episode two, I cut out some of the long pieces because I don't want to read them again for you. I don't want to waste another five minutes. He says, I've given away a few roses and the world saw my heartbreak. I learned that some flowers have very sharp thorns. Okay, so he's given a few roses away. So he's gotten married twice, Jessica Simpson. And then another one, we'll talk about her a little bit later on because she also, her, her name's Vanessa. Uh, they have a show together, they've got kids together, but whatever. Um, talking about so his heartbreak. Well, they had a TV show, Newlyweds. And ultimately we did watch them kind of fall apart on that TV show right there. And afterwards it was kind of like a messy, messy divorce. So sharp thorns, visual clues, an alarm clock. He hosted a show called Big Morning Buzz Live. After that, we saw roses and rose petals. Well, he does host a show with Vanessa, Vanessa called Love is Blind. After that, we saw an ax tattoo. He was in an ax body spray slash body wash tattoo commercial. Not tattoo commercial, but commercial. After that was episode four, talking about being a hometown hero, which is normally given to people who play like, you know, the, the lead of the sports team. I said lead, but like the star of the sports team. You could tell that I did play football in high school, but I was actually was in the musical. So I would show up from my, my dress rehearsals for musicals and tattoos the football practice. <laughs> Um, that's a, actually a funny story. Remember that for when we do our live videos. We'll talk about that a little bit later. He talked about a lifetime of competition from his arch rivals. Well, let's be honest. They, at that point, boy bands in sync, Backstreet Boys, you name it, Dream Street. I mean, they were all going crazy at that time. And even today, they have that arch rival. You know, even though I have to admit, they have done some touring together. So maybe those arch rivals are becoming more friends, but it is what it is. A visual clues, football room and locker room. Well, Lacey was the star of the football team. Once again, the hometown hero. Next was the 35-28 rushing slash game yards. I want to break that down for you because I forget. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I forget who told me the math on this. But 
So if you put 3528 into inches and you divide it by 12 into feet, it's 290 or 294 feet. Now, if you divide 294 divided by three, which is in yards, you get 98 for 98 degrees. I know. Bing, boom, bing, boom, bing, boom, boom, 98 degrees. It works out in the end. After that, we saw the Mustang. Well, Nick is from Kentucky. Kentucky is known for all of the horse racing. Kentucky Derby, which is, was that too long ago? It was actually a few weeks ago. After that was the childhood crush. Well, we can't confirm that his crush was Meg Ryan. The age does kind of work out. After that was episode five, so unexpected appeared and turned my life around. Well, after him and Jessica kind of left, his life kind of crumbled a little bit there. He did move home, supposedly broke the finger, which we can't confirm. Uh, but he then met Vanessa, and I feel bad because I'm going to butcher her last name. Is it Vanessa Minmino? Minmino. Sorry, Vanessa. Sorry, I'm really bad with names. Um, and she helped turn his life around. Visual clues, grilling rack and corner of the cob. He used to have his own restaurant with his brother called Boucher Sports Bar and Grill. Palm trees while well, he moved to California, as mentioned in the clue package earlier. Jimmy Bottle, him and Jessica Simpson did a version of A Whole New World back in 2004. After that was the Lays. Well, he proposed to Jessica in Hawaii. And then after that, the meaningful object clue, which was the dog tags. He has dog tags. He actually has, I think, three altogether. And I'm going to read you a quote that he says. He, is, he says, I have a dog tag that Vanessa gave me with Cameron's birthday on it, and now it has Brooklyn's birthday on it. That's my little symbol that they've always been there with me, always wears it. And then the P, I think, is for his latest child, because I think it's three altogether. Next is episode seven, the broken finger story. Can't confirm it. I can't find anything online about it, but we have to assume that it's true. After that, we saw the pirate ship. He was on an episode of Hawaii Five O titled Pirate. The peace sign, sunglasses, the car tree fragrance, and UFO, I have no idea on. Gotta be honest with you, I can't match it. I don't know what it is. You let me know down in the comment section because I have no connection for those guys. Food delivery was cotton candy. Well, before he was in 98 degrees, he used to sing at an amusement park. I think it was King's Dominion or something like that. After that was episode 9, the head birthmark story. Can't confirm it. I can't find anything online. There's no photo of it. You gotta just kind of accept that that is the truth. After that, with the gold bars, he does have one gold record, vampire teeth. There's been a joke going around for many, many years that he is a vampire. The reason why? Go back and look at a picture of him from like 2004 and look at him today. That looks like this guy has never aged. He has never aged. <laughs> I don't know what he's eating or what he's drinking or what his workout is, but Nick, if you're watching, please go ahead and let us know. Because honestly, I want to drink, eat, or do whatever the heck you're doing. You look great for your age. After that was the Mindbender Clue by Cluedo saying that he's caught touchdowns from Dan Marino. This one is absolutely fantastic because back in 2004, he was on MTV's Rock and Jock Super Bowl pre-show, whatever it is, and... He, there's pictures of him with Dan Marino, assuming that he actually caught footballs from Dan, so that makes sense. But the best part is, Nick Cannon is also there. So it's like, Clue why don't you tell us there's a connection between the piglet and Nick Cannon? Right? Come on, man. Anyway, after that, some extra clues for you guys. Clue said at one point, piglet knows how to stay cool even in the heat, 98 degrees. After that is the master list of clues. He's got four, four platinum records, uh, one gold record, one multi-platinum single, $25 million net worth, 30 million albums sold, one Super Bowl appearance, two marriages, and one divorce. Now work that into the mask Singer Master List of Clues we did a few weeks ago, because uh, that list is still wrong. I'll probably have to redo that by the last week of the show. That way we have a full understanding of it, but they really messed us up on that, and to be honest with you, I'm just going to assume that they've been trying to lie to us. Because, you know, RoboPine clues. You liar! You lied the whole time, RoboPine! But we still got him right. Anyway, let me know if you guys agree with me. Do you think it's Nick Lachey? Do you think it's someone else? Let me know in the comment section. As a reminder, we still have our Mask Singer pins for sale. Wear them now so that you can get them before the finale. And send me a photo of you wearing it. I like seeing stuff like that. But 
I'm Joey. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, give this video a thumbs up. I'm so sorry that this video wound up being 15 minutes long, but when you have this many clues into the episode, it makes sense. And you can check out all the other reveals once again in the comment section below. And as a reminder, semifinals is when the clue review comes down. We didn't do a reveal video, but we kind of broke down the clues for him. But anyway, I'm Joey. Stay safe. I'll see you later. Bye.